All right, guys, I'm going to do a voiceover of uh, a meltdown by Holly and myself. This was not good. She brought the shoulder into me, so I shoot her away again. And then we had a tantrum, but unfortunately I did kind of yank her on the mouth and that made the behaviour kind of escalate. And I did get to the point where I was scared. And it's very embarrassing to say that, considering I've been around horses for 20 years or more. Um, I'm trying to apply everything, but I just felt like she just kept having a tantrum. And I did send this full video to my coach and said, uh, SOS please, because I'm feeling really out of my depth with lunging this horse. And yeah, so she looked at it and she said, right, let's, let's fix this. And you're going to lunge her for a lesson. And that's what we did, we did that, but before that, I actually signed, so you can see there, I'm actually scared of her. Um, before, before that, I actually signed up for the TRT method and my mind was blown. Holly is such a sensitive horse, so I'm really learning a lot with that. So anyway, I just wanted to do a voiceover so you can see where we're going wrong and Later you will see us fix it, so stay tuned. Hello team, it's Tuesday. I didn't check in yesterday at all, but I hope you enjoyed that horsey footage. Today has been a very laid back day. I didn't end up getting called in to teach, which I thought I was going to be in that grade four class again because I was in that <coughs> last week. I know I said in the check in last week that I was going to be in a prep class, but no, I ended up being in the same grade four class. So I really did think that I was going to be there today, but no, no work. Joyce of being casual, I guess. I've got my little horns here from my hair uh today i have just done the grocery shopping well not even like the full shop there's just like going to get like bits and bobs that we forgot on saturday or i forgot on saturday i've just done some writing i edited the other video i've been doing some graphic design for the developer as well and now i'm just having a rest i was going to go and ride moo today but my partner is going to be out until late tonight, like nine o'clock ish. So I don't know. I get really f like, please comment like if you do as well, but I get really funny if I'm completely alone and I'm writing, I don't know. Like even my partner says it, it's Moo. I mean, yeah, he'll, he'll buck me off if like I offend him and things like that, but you know, He's good. It's not like you have to like really worry with Moo. And I'm like, I don't know. It's just something that I've got like, like a feeling. Yeah, I I feel like if nobody is around, like obviously he he doesn't come and watch me ride. But like if nobody's here at the property, I I feel like I shouldn't ride just in case something goes wrong. The full moon is coming. Trying to do a workout, but this little guy was hoping. <laughs> Hello, guys! I just got back from the lunch in the city that took all day it was it was great i had a great day tired i woke up with an earache and a bit of sinus pain so <sighs> okay <laughs> feel free to hate me in the comments but i'm not writing again today um it's just hard with too much going on i'm just walking up the driveway my partner just dropped me off. Um, obviously, just because I need the extra steps to get a bit more exercise. I'm still full from lunch at 
top 30 or top crop and it's now <laughs> nearly 5 30. <laughs> still feel really full so i'm gonna have to do two trips to just feed the horses so i'll take out the hay then take over their food so and then i've got to walk all the way back up to the house so I'll, i'm at least getting some activity in just what i need Can you hear that? Of course it starts pouring. <laughs> Hello you said. Now for Moo. It's lightened up a little bit. Don't slip of her. Over here, mate. Oh. Moose fed. Alright yeah. guys, that's Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning team. It is Thursday morning and today I am doing a writing day slash housework day slash writing day. So here's Holly waiting for her breakfast. Scrubbing headaches, so and I look really puffy. <sighs> Out of breath too. <laughs> I don't feel very good, so it's probably good that I'm not working at school. We are writing today. Um, yeah, I'm going to be writing either 10 pages or two chapters i haven't decided yet um novels coming along quite well i've changed the overall theme and the message about what it is so uh some things need to be changed this is the probably third draft of this one the other one is with the editor so that's exciting um so i'm just writing and then i've got classy here my little fluffy bum. <laughs> Cute feet. Thank you, bud. Mm -hmm. You do look really well. Even though it's in your Oh, it's hard to reach you from over here. Um, that's what she does. She holds my hand. <laughs> I don't know how people can say that cats are not affectionate. Oh, they're silly billies. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do this. I've got some other things to do as well for like work, but mostly I'm going to focus on writing the novel while I have some peace and quiet. Hanging out here with the poilas. Any way that my cats can be with me, they're with me. Um, I've got a little... A little lavender here. I don't know if you can see her, but she's like next to the box. She's just sitting there looking out the window. <laughs> Basin, bath, bedroom. I just watched Leading and Awareness with Tristan Tucker for the TRT method and my electrons in my brain are just lighting up. I've like raced down here because I'm like, oh my god, this is what I've been doing wrong all this time. Oh my god. Like the simple act of shooing Holly away from me always results in a tantrum. And I'm feeling like I'm doing it wrong and I'm doing it wrong. Yes, I am. I should be directing that at the ground, not at her. Because then it's not creating this tantrum. I mean, obviously we're still going to have little blips, but I can't wait. I'm, <laughs> I'm like rushing down here because I'm like, I'm, I can't wait to try that. So I'm going to go try that. Actually, I'm going to go get my helmet just in case. Because <laughs> last time I did this, she was like throwing the front leg at me. Um, and I think 
sorry, they're all dirty. Um, I think it's coming from her frustration and her lack of confidence in me and it's creating insecurity because she is like an in, inwardly stressed horse. So for her to be having these stress reactions coming out, it means that she's really stressed and frustrated and insecure. So yikes, I can't wait to try it. <laughs> you watch, it's going to go badly, but oh my God, but I've got to like calm myself down because like he said, I've, I've got to know who I am. I'm quiet, I'm nervous, I'm shy. I'm low energy <laughs> and she's not she's she's not high energy quite low energy actually but she is outgoing she will say hello to everybody at a party <laughs> whereas I will say hello to nobody so just grabbing tripod and helmet Alright guys, to get the full lay down on this, you need to get the TRT method with Tristan Tucker. I am not an expert, <laughs> obviously. So I started out with Holly and straight away she just sort of took control. She got a bit complacent and she was like, I know my job, I'm just going to walk. And she wouldn't listen to me. She just kept wanting to walk in a circle. So I kind of swung the rope around and I introduced the vocal commands that Tristan Tucker recommends that you use. And I just kept trying. She is, she's still walking around me because she thinks that's what she wants to do. So I eventually pulled her head to face me. And then obviously she's too close, but I just wanted to pat her for staying calm when I did give her a correction. So I was leading her around and we do have a bit of a hiccup here. She got too close. She moved back when I told her and I said, that's not enough, honey. Directed the energy at the ground, but she still got very offended. You can see, I don't know, well, I, I assume you can see that I'm looking down at the ground. I'm not looking at her. This was the big mistake I was making. I was looking at her there, I'm looking at her. So she's escalating a little bit, but then I look down at the ground again. She's moved away from me. So I let her rest. It was. It was amazing and there you can actually see that she's like making sure that that space between us stays and because she was a bit worried about like getting in my space I said oh, excellent I'll drop the rope we can chill and then I gave her a pat because I'm like this is what you do Holly you stay out of my way and you don't direct that frustration at me even if I am the one causing it so yeah you're yeah. Man, I walk funny, <laughs> dodgy hip, knee, ankle, just how it is. She does get a little bit too close to me, obviously. Like I said, we're not experts. And I don't want to sort of say what Tristan Tucker says to do. There I'm directing the energy at the ground. She stepped back, so I stopped, but I wanted more. I sent her back a bit more. She got a bit worried because I didn't stop. That's my timing, but... I'm trying. I'm getting there. Um, I felt so confident after this because just that simple act of I felt so confident and inspired and motivated. So I think it's time to start riding again. Well, I think Holly enjoyed that. <laughs> she went um, back to her paddock and I did a little bit more in her paddock and she was so happy. She was yawning and licking and chewing. The, pretty much the whole time as I was massaging Moo just with the massage gun he loves that such beautiful scenery um I just wanted to jump back on with the camera because <laughs> Holly rolled <laughs> so I'm gonna show you what she looks like <laughs> She's still looking and chewing. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is making me so happy. Yucky. <laughs> Holly. Holly, darling. Oh, darling. She's like licking my shoe. 
oh, that must have felt so good. Are you relieving tension in your body through groundwork? Still looking into it. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> I gotta stop because I'm so happy. <laughs> it's working. It is actually working. Clean this side. Dirty the other. Good girl. Ash, look how pretty the background is today. Look how pretty that background is today. Anyway guys, that's Friday. I'll see you tomorrow for my lessons with both horses. Good night guys. Apparently Moo is not happy with the grass hay this morning. Good morning guys, it's Saturday morning. And I am going off, excuse the mess in the back, they're all like horse tails on my school bag and stuff. Um, <clears throat> I am going to get some feed because my horses are out of easy sport, so they need that. I also need to get diesel. <laughs> and I'm also picking out some boots from somebody about 40 minutes away so I'm gonna go do that and then come back and have my lesson so that's the plan this morning it's currently 11 degrees and just over the car so I <laughs> can actually walk around in a t-shirt because there's no horrible horrible Melbourne wind We just had our lesson. Um, obviously because I'm fighting an infection, my body was not liking me. This leg is basically just seized up like a cramp. And my lower back is killing me. It usually gets really sore when I ride him anyway because <laughs> he's hard work. And it feels like I've done you know that pinching feeling in, in your abs that you get when you've just done too many sit-ups? Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Moo wasn't feeling it either because while I was having a lesson with Holly, he galloped laps of his panic. Didn't you? <laughs> so he's feeling pretty sorry for himself because he was like, I have to work. I already exercised myself. Um, but we didn't work very hard obviously because I wasn't feeling it and he was not feeling it either. Are you itchy? Where are you itchy? Where? Where? Yes, yeah, so I'll just give him a bit of love. There, okay. You're like a woolly mammoth, Baba. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be Saturday. I think we might go get some takeaway or something for dinner. So I've, I've pick, picked them up some copper today. So I'll just go feed them their hard feed now. Still quite sunny. Ooh, thanks, Boo. Um, so I'm not gonna worry. You're not gonna bite my butt, are you? Because yeah, you would so do that. He would say do that. <laughs> You're a cheeky boy. You're a we had fun, even though we were both <laughs> struggling today. Um, Hi guys, it's Sunday afternoon, 4.30. <laughs> I really have done a very bad job today of vlogging what I've done. I did some more groundwork with Holly this morning. I gave Moo the day off. And this afternoon we... My partner and I just 
cleaned the house and scrubbed all the kitty litter trays. Well, I did that. <laughs> um, refilled all the litter. And you can imagine with seven cats, that's a big job. So that took a while. And we sat down, made a budget, made a shopping list, made a meal plan. And managed to get our weekly shop for $142. So that is officially less than I spend on my horses. So I'm just... They also had a nudie day today. I don't know if you can see them. I'll take you out there in a minute. I'm just waiting for their copra to soak. So yeah. That's the day. <laughs> I'm re still really enjoying the TRT method. I meant to go to office waste today as well, but we just ran out of time. By the time we sat down, had lunch, and then talked to some people on the phone, did all that sort of stuff, house stuff. We ran out of time, but feeling feeling like I've had a better week despite getting sick than I did last week. I think the weather plays a big part in my motivation to ride. Did you get yourself nice and muddy? Look at you! Oh dear, Holly! Oh, Holly horse! There you go. There you go, babe. Let's get your rug on. Ew. Moo is actually clean. <laughs> or cleanish. That's the dirtiest he is. A bit of tightness there, Papa. Something that I found really interesting about the TRT method is it's all about getting the horse to manage their own tension and a, lot, a good way of doing that is to find where they are tight through the body, just helping them release that so then their tension is released. Anyway, and I'm super interested in horse massage and stuff anyway. I probably would have considered that as a job, but that finger's crooked. I broke that hand, so that hand's crooked. I get RSI. <laughs> that's, a, that's a cool float. Whoever you are. Nice. Um, wouldn't that be funny if they actually watched this? Like, hello, you drove past my place with your pretty float and I really like it. Can I have it? <laughs> um, yeah, so really enjoying that aspect of TRT. Um, allowing the horse to manage themselves because that's what... Where is she? She's over there. That's what Holly needs to do. She wants to... She needs to learn how to manage her own anxiety. Not necessarily always seek it from me because I'm not very confident. But I'll get there. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's this week. And I'm just going to chuck his rag on, make him all snuggy, and then go cook dinner. <laughs> 